Welcome Libra to your angel reading for this brand new week, first week of August 2022. Libra, let's get these beautiful angel messages for your week. We're going to be using three different oracle decks to gather the messages. We're using a brand new Oracle deck that I just purchased over the weekend. And the card at the bottom I'm seeing for the first time. Rare success. Eight, eight, eight. Gosh, that card's gorgeous. Libra. I will definitely be incorporating this deck more often in the daytime readings so you can really see the full picture and the full colors of this card, but wow. Rare success. Okay, I'm, I'm, we're gonna start with this deck. I'm hearing start with this deck, shuffle once on camera. Her golden grace. Rare success for her golden grace. Libra. The angels are speaking. One card for Libra, please. First week of August 2022. Libra message. Top card. see crossroad of destiny libra let's read this new deck is called the crystal mandala oracle Hold on, let me see what the angel number is on this card. It is well as part of the 888. We are in, in the middle of this Lionsgate portal and it peaks on August 8th. We are approaching that peak date of 88. And this card is another 888 card, just like that rare six rare success card was. Crossroad of Destiny. Number 42. Let's see, Libra. We bring you the empowerment of the crossroad of destiny. You are at a pivotal point on your life journey. This may be obvious to you with a potentially life-changing decision before you, or you may not realize the impact that an apparently insignificant choice is going to have on your future. Either way, you are at a point where you can leave the past behind and chart your course for a new adventurous chapter to begin in your life. This is not something you need to be frightened of. It is a sign you are progressing on your path. The crossroad of destiny happens when you have mastered a cycle in your life and a new cycle is before you. It is an opportunity that you can best take advantage of by listening to your heart. There is a certain comfort in familiarity. The world you have been living in has some sort of boundary, some degree of predictability and certain things, people or situations you can rely upon to behave in particular ways. These familiarities can be 
a way you choose to feel secure. Even if you know deep within that life is always evolving and so are you. And that things need to change to stay fresh, healthy, and inspired. The truth is that familiarity doesn't really create security. Your mind may like to think it does, but this is an illusion. All things change in time. That is a natural law. What you and your mind need to remember is that you can choose to feel secure even through changing circumstances that lead you towards an unknown world. That unknown world will eventually become known to you with its own boundaries and some degree of predictability and familiarity until again, change knocks. This is amazing. This is like the out of body experience I had when I was having that hour long scan at the hospital because the conclusion that I came to of why I was drawn to um, visiting the area of the hospital I used to work at for so long, 11 years, was the familiarity. And it did make you feel secure because it was familiar, but that's not real either. It, it, <laughs> so crazy. Okay. Until you're facing another crossroad in your life, needing to make decisions that will affect your future. The security you can feel in this process comes from knowing that this is not random, though it might seem that way at the time. Destiny is not simply a destination. It is a living process that will cause growth and evolution in you as you shed that which no longer serves your soul and open up to receive that which does. You may wish to understand all the possible ramifications of your decisions, all possible outcomes, and then make a clear logical choice as to what will serve you best. Although you can rely on logic and analysis, and perhaps you wish to start there if you're so inclined, it is through listening to your heart, the inner knowing and voice of intuition within that will bring you the most joyful experience. You can either play it safe or play it true. The heart will guide you to truth. The choice might scare you at first, or you might feel excited about what you feel your heart is asking you to do. Your mind may not understand and therefore create doubt, but the heart has its own wise genius beyond compare. It is the vehicle through which the divine plan is felt and it is your flawless inner compass. This oracle comes to you with a message. Let all your choices come from your heart. If it feels right for your heart and there is joy there, even if you have to search beneath all the what if something goes wrong, fears of the mind to find it, then do it. If you have certainly made such a decision and are waiting to see if the sky is going to fall in on top of you, this oracle affirms you have crossed the threshold into a new way and that it is time to leave the fears of the past behind you now. And I just heard dear Libra. If you're feeling that you need a crossroad, a choice point to help you shift out of a habitual way of being that has become stifling to you, that you need a change to broaden your horizons or to try something different, then the Oracle affirms this. You can always choose to try and continue with life as it is, even though in due course it will change and take you along with it. Or you can be this spiritual adventurer along your own untraveled path, knowing that the Divine Mother watches over you and will protect, assist, and guide you as you find your way. It is safe to trust the call to new life that you feel inside. It is your destiny urging you forward into so much grace. Wow, Libra. What a beautiful, beautiful, I'm hearing necessary message. 
Let's pull your angel card and then another oracle from a different deck. Wow. Angel message for Libra. Oh my gosh, of course. Libra. <laughs> Didn't we get this in the last angel reading, you guys? Or the one before that? I know we've gotten it in at least one angel reading. It's that cornucopia, that abundance angel. You cannot make it up. And you got the oracle card. 888. <laughs> oh my gosh this is such an abundant portal libra let's read angel number 10 libra land 10 10 let's go This delightful angel pours abundant riches from his horn of plenty and smiles. His robe is green like leaves, and his mantle is red like fire. His active energy, this is the angel of fortune, that unexpected gift from destiny that may improve our lives. Whether we receive material or spiritual riches, Gold represents the purity of the spirit and the gifts of Mother Earth. We must learn to grasp them when the time is right, enhance them, and allow their value to grow. Oh my gosh, you got the Angel of Fortune, Libra? Pouring out, the angels are pouring out the cornucopia to you. This is part of your crossroad of destiny. Let's get your medicine angel message from the shamanic medicine. First week of August for Libra. Wow, Libra. One card for Libra, please. Libra most needs to hear. Message from the angels. Wow, that was just at the bottom. <laughs> well, I saw it and that's what wanted to be seen and spoke of. The past. Let's see, what number is that? Lower world, the past. Let's see what it has to say, Libra. Turned right to it. You have been avoiding the dark aspects of your psyche. Embrace your shadow in order to know thyself fully. Face the fears that stem from past lives by connecting with the earth and the lower worlds. Darkness sheds light on that which is hidden. Interesting. In the indigenous cultures of America, the world tree is a place where spirit animals live alongside the ancestors. Lost information is found in fragmented parts of the soul await retrieval. Journey down into the deep, accessed through trance, or induced sleep. Ancestors, spirits wait for you. Darkness highlights what is true. Wow, Libra. These readings are always for 18 and up. I'm not a physician, doctor, lawyer, therapist. And um, I don't uh, recommend anything to induce 
sleep, but for whatever reason, and these I'm pretty sure you can get anywhere in the world. They're not illegal. This is so wild. Over the weekend, um, <clears throat> my mom gifted me this beautiful cream and it's made of indigo. And it reminds me so much of the Blue Lotus. I don't know if that's what they made it from or actual, I don't know, but it's an indigo body cream and it smells amazing. And it reminded me of Blue Lotus. And just now I heard with that um, poem, Blue Lotus flowers. Interesting, I keep getting that message. Wow, Libra. So journeying to the world tree. Calling back all your power. And this has been a message, honestly, that I've been channeled from the angels, guides, and ancestors for us, Libra, as a collective Libra as the Libran Collective, um, merging our past selves and our future selves and merging our past selves with our future selves, calling back any fragmented pieces, healing our inner children, not pushing away the pain anymore, I decided to post that video the other day after I had that procedure at the hospital and my arm was still sore and I just received that nuclear medicine and I was crying off and on throughout the reading because I've been getting hit really hard with the scammers, right? 1711 on the clock, 711. Anyways, I wasn't even, I wasn't for sure if I should even post it because I'd gotten so, I'd shared emotions and, you know, cried a little bit. Libra, it's good, like, we're all sentient, emotional beings here, and honestly, I'm hearing we've all been through different pains, different traumas, different lives, lives, different lives for sure, but there's always a common thread and it's healing and it's always having that connection to your inner child. Libra, I feel like you're being uber blessed, which is like super duper 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 blessed. Okay. 888 on the first Oracle card, angel of fortune, um, number 10, and then traveling to the world tree where the ancestors and this can be in a dreams or like I'd mentioned an out of body experience when I was like forced to be very still in this like CT type type of scan machine right for so long an hour it's like what do you do I um, wasn't couldn't fall asleep you know, so what do you do when you're forced to just be completely still? You can't get on your phone. I tried to out of body experience and so I went. I'm not, it's not something that I recommend you do induced, um, you know, in any type of unsafe way. I'm not saying that. But calling back the fragmented pieces and healing your inner child is the way, is a move. All right, I'm going to leave it here. If you found messages in this week's angel reading, I would appreciate a big thumbs up. Thank you all so much for your continued support. I love each and every one of you. I think we're over 31K now, Librans. Thank you for your support continuously. Thank you always. I'm so grateful. Stay balanced. Stay blessed.
Peace.